Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to his holy name, both now and forever. Now. Raise your hands. Raise your hands, raise your hands before the Lord. Eternal rock of ages, the one that sits in the circumference of himself, we praise you this afternoon. And we know by your power, we are going to fraternize with divinity in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Take your time. Wherever you are, just take your time and begin to reflect on why you are still alive today. Somebody is dead as we speak. Somebody did not make it today. Somebody didn't make it yesterday. But you are still alive. You have something to thank God for. Wherever you are, begin to praise God. Begin to thank God. In your prayer, begin to thank God right this minute. Balatuzia. Rekaba kore da kuske pendola kinda retalo preta folia anta kipo honski atai. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. This is not time to pray. Just a normal prayer, but a serious one. Ie kapala mo shuntali kwa. Parata zaloche. Baruje eki beli kuske. Ia baba ya kasa kate le paranuske eki pranto. Ia supra askeli ya pranto lo kufe. Ia papa ya nama haski, jeba i kosko prokoto, rasuba antale gibi ya namo sa, le shopra antala kuske. Ia papa ba ya sono mo, le kapanto si ke prehives, le kupra antala gisko bali kapai, jena nama soko tali kapa haski, jaba ba ya makasoko to, rekanta le gibi ya kata, ia pato ji prehives ne, terupra asti ke liya katola mo. Pasigo na manda yantre kumali kapana nandre heste kizo jakete iko mono mose yeko prata liga bahaski yakato yazube elige prehisko balas yata baka baya balata yato lomo ko pronta lagi ya santa la musha ya papa soko pro resa ko pronto logo poli kapalina antigo ziana makuske ekipe jene meso sako pronto jete pe iko manda les. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The book of Luke, chapter number 11. But before we do that, just raise your Bible. If you don't have it, pretend you have one. Just raise it up high. Just raise it up high. Say, this is my Bible. I do what it says I have. I do what it says I have to do. I have what he says I have. I can achieve what he says I should achieve. In this Bible, I get the knowledge of God. The Word of God is active. It is active in my life. It is inerrant and sufficient in its nature. I receive it today in Jesus' name. Before I allow you to sit down, I just read this scripture. Luke chapter number 11, now I'll read from verse number 14. Verse number 14. And he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. Sit down. I don't want you to miss what I'm about to say, then in a few minutes... The Lord, like a mighty rushing wind, will be dropping mantles everywhere. 
I wish you were here to catch that mantle. Never lose it. Never lose it. I want you to understand that there are points where we have to understand the pretext of the text. By just understanding the context, you can understand the text better. Let's go to verse number 13 so you get it. 13. If you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Notice that the context has nothing to do with the text. So that means we are able to just take the text the way it is and begin to exegete. If you look at verse number 14, it says, And Jesus was casting out a devil which was dumb. The Bible does not say Jesus was casting out a devil from a person who was dumb. Now, I wish I could get to some people who understand. The Bible is specifically saying the demon was mute. It wasn't the person who was mute. It was the demon that was mute. That is that it overtaken the person's vocal cords and prevented him to speak. There are two types of demonic entities. There is a demon that causes you to be paralyzed, but itself is not paralyzed. Then there is a more dangerous one that causes you to be broke because it is broke. Nah. I knew you were, you were going to miss what I'm about to give you. The danger with this kind of demon, it is a reasoning demon. It is an intellectual. It gives you reasons why you should be broke. And he was casting out a devil and the devil was mute. The person is mute, can't speak. Not because the demon has grabbed the voice and stolen the voice. No, sir, no, ma'am. It is because the devil in the person does not like to speak. So you can have demons that just don't like to be rich. No, no, no. This is the reason why you can see a Lamborghini and begin to ask, why would I need a car with two seats only? How many are you? I know you. Are you, are you still mine? So it's not influencing you to steal your money. No, say no, ma'am. What it's doing is, it gives you reasons why you should be broke like this. The moment you hear somebody has a 23 bedroom house, you go like, why? You are wasting money. Why would you want 23 bedrooms? Maybe I want to wake up one day in this bedroom. Then maybe the next day in this bedroom. So the idea is always asking yourself, what kind of demon controls my family? Is it a poor demon? So, so, so. You never come out of that problem because the demon that is in you likes your condition. Uh. You just find yourself saying, so are you married? Me. I don't want to get married. Men don't matter to me. Men... <laughs> hey! then you have all kinds of reasons why men should never come into your life it is an intellectual demon in the Hebrew it's called Balfero or rather Balfego it is a demon of the gap if you look in the Hebrew it is a demon that is called the demon that is responsible for a gap in other words it leaves you with a gap you never manage to cross from one area to your destiny because there is a gap. It is a demon of laziness. But it is very intellectual that it creates technology that makes people lazy. Mm.
There were days we could get into a manual car and your wife is by your side. She doesn't know how to drive and you just put it in gear one for the sake of gear one. <laughs> I knew I'm talking to the wrong crowd. I need to go back there. Do you understand? There was something about a car just going vroom, 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 vroom. You, you know a talking car. You, you know what I'm talking about. Now you can't do that with a Tesla. You can't do that. It's just quiet. It doesn't say nothing. To you, it is a very good intervention. In, in, invention, rather. A, 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 a kind of um, uh, uh, something that, that, that is disruptive, or rather we call it disruptive technology. But the reality is, while it is good technology, it has caused many to be lazy. So it is an intellectual, but it is a demon of the gap. Ah, this is what the prophet said. I can stand in the gap. Who will go for me? And I'll stand in the gap. That means there is somebody who is in the gap who is failing to cross from one area to the other because there is no bridge. But there are men of God who have been called by God who are bridges in society, bridges in families, bridges in industry, bridges in education, bridges in business that can make you cross to from one location to the other. I wish I could talk. But the problem is, they come in a way you might not like. Notice, Jonah was called by God. Go to where? Nineveh. And Nineveh is Iraq. And Tashish is Spain. So these are not heavenly cities. So Jonah was called to go to Iraq and he went to Spain. But on his way they notice what you do not realize is the people of Nineveh understood that God had sent them a prophet who was to come but he had not yet arrived. Ah. But they believed in a sea God, the God of the sea. So when you think the man Jonah is actually refusing to go, he is falling into the plans of God. Then he is swallowed by a fish to go to a city that believed in a sea God. Waiting for a prophet who will come from the sea. I wish I could talk to somebody. And notice when he arrives at the location, he is vomited and the people are at the beach. Mm, imagine being visited by God when you are at the beach. I wish I could talk to somebody now. Uh, and he said, those on that side, please have your service. We're having a good one here. Now, sit down. Sit down, sit down. You know, those guys always, ah, and you always complain that I never come here. Here I am. Now, so understand something. When you get vomited by the fish at the beach, uh, a beach is a location of purity, a location of class. Uh, so, so, so your prophet might actually be a classy guy. I, am I talking to somebody? So the problem with your people is, how can you go to a church with a man who dresses like that? Who drives a car like that? Who thinks like that? Who has got money like this? Who, is, who lives in a house like that? No, tell them the story of Jonah. There are people who can only be saved if he gets vomited at the beach. Mm, I'm talking to somebody. He might not be in the location you come from, but there is something that is coming. Uh, so, 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 God always hides his secret in a vessel you will not accept. Let me give you this. Do you know if you go to any company, there is a guy who moves with all the card, the keys of the office. There will be a bunch like this. That guy is the one, that guy is the one who is paid the lowest. They're missing it. They're missing it. 
You go into the toilet of the CEO, he is there. With a bunch of keys like this. The office of the CEO is there. The office of the director is. Listen, even when you're doing high level meetings, you'll be just going. He looks like he's not, he's not listening to anything. He's called a cleaner. All the keys, even the managers don't have those keys. And he makes sure he displays all of them. It is only one day when the king, ah, when the CEO, when the director says to him, do you know John? He says, oh, John is so nice. Now your CV doesn't matter. It is that cleaner with the... No, I'm talking to somebody now. So the person that will bring your salvation and your deliverance can come in a way you didn't expect. Can come in a vessel you did not expect. But God is able. I see somebody. Ah, just from right there to just right here. I see somebody. I see your name. Getting into offices where your CV cannot enter. No, I know you're looking at me like that. As I always say, don't look at me with that kind of tone. Some people miss that part. Sit down, sit down before you cram my style. Can I preach it like I'm feeling it? I'm doing the best I can. Now, Are you, are, you, are you getting this? Or? You are getting this. Now, watch this. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> so, so, so. How do I receive a man with such keys? I have to understand the demon controlling my family. <laughs> do you realize that there are demons that are simply sent to a family. You don't know why your mother got divorced. Your sister got divorced. All of you beautiful. Hmm. You yourself, you, you know, you are not biased. You can actually see this is a human being in this, in this mirror now. But no matter how you dress yourself, you will never get married. No one wants you. The whole family. Right now, if I leave you in Arare at 10 p.m. And all the minibuses and the transport and the taxis have ceased operating. Who would you call to come pick you up? Are you, are, you, are you getting what I'm trying to say now? You are the only one in your own country, the whole country, you're all, the only one who has ever been to town. <laughs> Imagine getting into London and you're dropped there. Who do you call? Forget London. Let's go down here, South Africa. Just Johannesburg alone, you stand there. And, and let's not put it at night, in the morning. You have at least 12 hours to decide who to call. 12. <laughs> you will not have one person in your family who has ever been anywhere. By, by that token as a prophet, I make you your family's case breaker. I said, I make you 
the curse breaker in your family. They shall know a car from your family. They shall know a wedding from your street. They shall know your a millionaire from your street. Sit down. In a few minutes, the Lord will begin to speak. Take it seriously. But I want you to understand something about the prophetic. I want you to understand something about the prophetic. The prophetic is not a word that is given so that something can be fulfilled. No, 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 no. I wrote the syllabus of prophecy. So I need to tell you now. Prophecy is not the future revealed. Prophecy is the past revealed. In other words, God has already gone into the future. He lives in the future. He has already seen your past. So when he gives me prophecy, I'm not revealing your future. I'm revealing your past, but you have not touched it yet. Because to you, it is still in the future. Ah. That's why the Bible says it this way. That prophecy did not come by human will. But men of God, men of the spirit, we carried along in the spirit. So if we are being carried along, we are put in the future and see you in the future. According to God, you have already reached your future. But according to the nature of time. Do you know scientists have no ability to measure time? I know if I ask you right now, you say, what time is it? You say, oh. 20 past 12, but ask an American. It will be maybe 20 past before. So who is correct? Then you call an Australian, the time has changed. So there is no measurement of time. They can only measure the passage of time. That's why the Bible says it this way. Buying back the time. For the days are if we can buy back, we can purchase the time. Sir, listen. Let me explain to you. When, when Esther was taken into captivity, and I'm still on this demon, when Esther was taken into captivity, there was a problem. Because let's just say she was taken when she was zero years old, which is impossible. <laughs> let's say she was one day old when she was taken into captivity by King Ahasuerus in the third year of the reign of King Ahasuerus. That is in Germany. Yeah. When Esther, Haman, all these things, Mordecai, that was in Germany. And when she was taken into captivity, hear this. Let's say she was one day old. The day she was chosen by the king, if we calculate the times of the years, she was 115 years old. Competing with 18 year olds. And 18 year olds are marching before the king. And according to the scripture, they were marinated in perfume for six months. And six months of oils being bathed. So they were simply perfume moving. And 18 year olds and the 115 year old grandmama strutting their stuff before the king. The king looked at the 18 year old and said, Not this one. Another one, not this one. Not this one. I said, this 18-year-old, what's the name? I said, Esther. Esther comes out. The teeth are still there. There is no anger. There. No, no, no. This one was alive. And 115 years old. She had managed to control time. I wish I could talk to somebody. Hey! Uh, I told you. One time, I saw God told me what was wrong in my family. He said, you can go back and correct it. I said, go back where? He said, yes, great grandfather. There is a place you went to, but I'm allowing you in the spirit to go back. Imagine I went back in time, saw my own grandmother, grandfather, going to a certain place to look for solution. God said, stand by this road. I stood by the road and blocked him. <laughs> now, 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 listen. These are years later now. Yet I could go back in time to fix a situation. Ah. 
Now, now, you, right now, if I look at you like this, you won't understand what I'm talking to you. So, so, so let me leave you alone. That's why the Bible says the things of the Spirit. The things of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. The things of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the things of the Spirit. They are not easy to be designed by natural means. By design by spiritual means. So, now, you don't understand why all of a sudden, you're just standing, you love your husband. This is the gift of God to you. You're just standing like that. And you start answering back anyhow. After you are done, you have burned the whole house. You yourself, you know, you don't want to go. You say, but it was, I was emotional, I'm also human. Uh -huh. The Bible calls you a spirit. What moved you from this spirit to human? You have a demon in you that doesn't like marriages. So any moment you get that can get your husband to be like, you know what? I love you, baby. You can't get it. You don't know why your husband doesn't even remember you hate him. No, nothing. You come from the Hair salon nicely done, and you get into the house, and your husband says, uh, How was today? <laughs> Can't you see all this? Can you not see all this? Oh. Ah! You took four hours bleaching your skin, bleaching your hair, everything is okay. Even the earring you changed, he does not see it, he just looks at you, says, Ah, me. I'm going to bed now. Ha. Can you see? Do you not see what I'm looking like now? <laughs> you wonder why? There is something on you that does not like marriage. The reason why you even wanted to be married was because your sister got married. And everyone in your family is saying, when are you going to get married? But you, 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 you don't. And he was casting out a demon that was mute. He did not want to speak. Every time you get to work, to work, there are 20 people. All of them are learned. You are more learned than them. In the interview you pass, and they tell you, sir, the problem is we only pay $500 a month, but you are more qualified for this job and we might take you but we're not able to pay you. Meanwhile, you are only okay. Even with $300, you like it. They tell you you are the one who is more qualified than them and the interview you passed, you asked it. But we're not taking you. You're too qualified. The jobs that you are qualified for, they don't want you. The jobs you are qualified for but you are overqualified, they don't want you. Because the spirit in you is okay with joblessness. <laughs> I me, mean, I'm okay. Me, anything you throw at me, I'm okay. I can go for days with no eating. I'm okay. You, you are even you are even you are even showing off your own poverty. You're okay. Ah, we are comrades. <laughs> we don't mind. We don't mind. I can sleep on the, on the floor. Yeah, I can do it. I don't care, double bed. No, 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 on the floor, I'm okay. In meanwhile, you think it shows you are very, very powerful. No, the spirit in you is the one that likes this, the, the floor. You know our African met with those lines like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you sleep there like this, you wake up like a zebra with stripes. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Okra. Something you have to cut with the scissors when you are eating. Like this. 
even your tongue is not used to anything, anything posh. No, it's not. Anything that, that just looks like it's a certain level of class, your mind can't compute. Can't. No, 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 I'm not doing that. I'm talking to you now. You were happy here when I was there. Now here, I'm talking to you. There is something refusing your success. Ah, if I were you, I'd be so angry and begin to say something. <laughs> but if you notice, I've not told you how to fix it. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No matter what you do, nothing works for you. Everything is demonic. Nothing really functions. No matter what you think of doing, nothing works. You go to school, you try to work hard. You asked it. A, 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 Science, A, physics, A, biology, A. Everything is A. We give you a job. You can't keep it for one week. They're just hating on you. You don't know why. Why is it that you are not moving from where you are? Why is it that you are a man and nothing that you have proves you are one? In your whole family, women rise more than men. What kind of men are you? Me, I sit down with my wife. One, I sit down with my wife and I see somebody making impact in the world. I say, baby, these are called men. This one. Now you call yourself a man. Nothing. You have not produced anything. Nothing. You just, you don't even work. The wife comes back from work. You are sitting on the couch. Your, your hands have blisters now, changing channels. <laughs> ah, mama, how was work? Shut up! <laughs> the Bible gave Adam a job before he was given a wife. Oh, right there, right there. I messed up a lot of sons. I hear someone saying, yeah, but what about potential? What kind of potential? 11 years with potential. 11. You know, baby, I love you, but I have a lot of potential in me. When I marry you, you will see. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, six years, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you the Ten Commandments? No potential. If you have potential, let's see that potential now. <laughs> How does it feel for a man to be following a woman grocery shopping? You are even pushing the trolley. And Mama is buying Now you have one child. At least you were man enough to have one. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Being male is a biological effect. But being a man is different. We have many males, but very few men. I knew the clipping would be very, very muffled. I knew this. But I want you to understand. Get the book of Luke again, 1114. Casting out a devil and it was dumb. And it came to pass when the devil was gone out. The one that was dumb, when he went out, the dumb man spake. And people wondered. So it took the spirit that was broke to leave. Now, I'm now juxtapositioning it. It took the man that was dumb to speak only when the spirit that was dumb was cast out. So you see your issue of being rich. 
It's not going to take 20 years after tonight. Yeah. Because there was an immediate. Hey! Say it huh? One day my wife was affected by this thing. She said, why do we need to buy Lamborghini, uh, Maserati, uh, Ferrari? Then she became pregnant with UJ. And that same day, we found out. And she started having all these effects of a pregnant woman. And she said to me, um, I need a Ferrari. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I realized it wasn't her. It was what she was carrying that was demanding a Ferrari. So sometimes it takes a pregnancy. You have to be impregnated with a certain desire. And that desire will begin to ask for the things that you have not desired before. Sit down. Just recently, I was having a quip with her in Nigeria with our spiritual father. When we had just met our spiritual father. And I, was, I went out and I said, when are we leaving to go to Zimbabwe? We got to, to discuss that it's this time, this time, and that time. We went there. We are in the queue. And everyone is like, let me get a photo. A photo. A photo. You see, there is a time in life yeah. 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 where a photo is okay. Then there is a time I don't need it. It's not that I don't need a photo. It's not that I, I'm trying to be rude. No, say. One time we had, uh, uh, I'm here. Come, come, Tiani, come. Tiani, me in the middle. No, no, no. He, she needs to be in the middle. I'm about to beat you up. <laughs> now, I stood like this in South Africa. This is my daughter, okay? So, this is not an example here. I stood like this. And this guy, this lady said, I want to take a photo. I want to take a photo. I said, oh, be in the middle. You see, we are trying to prevent anyone claiming whatever they want to claim. Yeah. Right? So we are standing like this. He took the photo. The next day, he, the man was removed from the photo. <laughs> no, no, that one, that's not it. On the caption, it was written, my guy. <laughs> so people begin to send it around the world. They say, you were standing with your girlfriend. I said, which girlfriend now? And it's written, my guy. <laughs> and you know people know how to take photos. So let me teach you one way of taking a photo. Come here, sir. If you're taking a photo and he, he wants the photo, let's say, I want the photo. And he's the celebrity here. Okay? And I'm not a celebrity. I'm the persecuted. <laughs> nah. So, you see, he's a celebrity. And I wanted the photo. Please let me take a photo. You know, you know that kind of thing? Just go there. You know, you are, you're not the one that is important. This one is the most important one. Start smiling before the photo is taken. When you know he's about to, to press the shutter, you go. He will be smiling. So they think he came to see me. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, forget about that. Understand, I have all this, these photos and these photos. Let me get a photo. Let me get, you know, my wife is very, very, you know, you know, I'm more loving than my wife. You already know that, but don't, don't, don't say nothing. We agree. You know, you know, we agree. So, <laughs> so now, someone just came and said, I want to take a photo with your wife. So I now denied on behalf of my wife. I like, no, 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 she's busy right now. Just you, me, I'm okay, okay? Just take a photo. Then the photos begin to increase. This side, this tire, this tire. I'm like, ah, no. No, no, I need to go. But you see, after they managed to get her in a corner with photos, she realized, hey, sh this is too much. People are like, yeah. And now I have V11s. <laughs> what V11s for what now? Is this not a photo? Immediately, you start realizing the trouble. This one is saying this. This one doesn't want you to go. And then you've got an immigration office who wants to prove that I don't care who you are. 
You know the problem of a poor person is not the rich. The problem of the rich is the poor person. I'm telling you the truth. One day I went to the, to the airport, just our airport here, parked by certain location, and the manager came out and said, who are you there? I said, I'm just... That was a few years back. I, I'm, I just, it's a drop-off point. He started shouting obscenities, nonsense. For whatever reason, he just wanted to say nonsense. Nonsense, shouting at me. Even calling me a different preacher's name. By a different, another preacher's name. I said, no, I'm an angel. He said, ah, oh, even you, you are the same with him. <laughs> he started giving me my own share. Whatever rumor he had, he was on me with that one. Fire, fire. I'm like, look, he says drop off point. That's all. I'm going somewhere. Ah, he's shouting. He's shouting everything. I sat down. I said, what's the problem with this guy? I realized he was broke. <laughs> broke people have a problem. And thank God he's no longer working there. He was fired from there. But just imagine the trouble broke people will give you for being rich. Because they themselves don't know they are broke. Have you ever called anyone broken and be like, why do you insult me like that? They say, how much do you have? I don't have anything, but you don't have to say that. I don't know if you're getting this. It's like if someone says, yeah, you're African. You go like, why, why would you think everyone who is black is African? Huh? Why would you insult me? No, I am African. I'm okay. Let me tell you something. I didn't choose this color. No, I just got lucky. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? So she's moving there, and this one is trying to shout. This immigration officer is trying to do this. This is in Nigeria. Like, what's happening? The confusion that is there. Then they were, when they realized we're diplomats, they said, oh, uh, sorry, sir, sorry, sir, uh, sorry, ma'am, you, you know, we're just doing our job. I'm like, okay. Then now, they are calling us with our names in the ministry, prophet, so and so. That means all along they knew it. They were pretending like they didn't know us. So that they can have their end. Whatever the end was, they needed to get to that. And they, then we got into this location, now we're getting into this uh, place. We're waiting to get to our get. And you have got 20, 30 people of really nice people, but all they want is not the anointing. They don't want you to pray, pray for them. They want a photo. So it is nothing to do with God. It's everything to do with the celebrity status that they think we have. So they need a photo. If it was prayer, no problem. But a photo? And I had spent months and months convincing her we need a jet. It is only when it happens, he said, I think that jet is all right. <laughs> Do you see now what it takes? Some time it takes trouble to realize what is preventing you from another place is not what your calling has already subscribed. What trouble has you gone through to realize your problem should be left? Some of you you will get out only after trouble has gotten you. Some of you only awake when trouble has already gotten to you. When things are no longer moving the way they are supposed to. In the days of Chamga, the byways and the highways were empty and nobody traveled using the straight road anymore in Israel. <laughs> Until I, Deborah, arose. That means she never thought of rising until there was trouble. Though the first thing that changes the demonic forces of your family that like your poverty, trouble. But the problem with trouble is it doesn't come to you by will. You don't bring it. You can cause it, but you don't time is coming. So imagine if trouble takes 20 years for you, for you to come to you so that you can wake up. I'm telling you now, the ability of God to remove you from your trouble is if you understand 
that the spirit that is on me can only live when I deny it access to me. All right. No, you're still not getting it. You're still not getting it. I I'm telling you, you're still not getting it. What causes your whole family not to even write anything home? There's nothing to write home about. Nothing. Zero. Your father failed. Your mother failed. No matter how you love them. Every time you do a small business like this, it never, it never goes anywhere. It fails. Others will do the same thing and prosper. Only you when you touch it. It doesn't. Even if you get involved in a partnership, you say, okay, I'm going to be part half, half. That's when the business fails. If that person does half, half with another person, it succeeds. They come here, they give testimonies. You'll be standing there going, that ah, guy, we were together in school. I was even better in school than this person. And now they've taken over. But you, nothing has happened. Everything is a failure. You've gone to every man of God. Gone through all deliverance lessons. Rolled on the floor and vomited. Nothing happened. Because deliverance is not when you roll on the floor. Deliverance is when your ignorance is confronted. Because the word devil, the prince of darkness, the word darkness they in the Hebrew is the word ignorance. And the word prince means the first to become. So in other words, when the Bible tells us that the devil is the prince of darkness, it means the first one to be ignorant. The biggest deliverance you can find is when your ignorance is confronted. The problem with you people is you just want to roll on the floor. Man of God, do, do it now. Do it for me. I come, I lay hands on you until you become bold. We can lay hands on you, even lay legs. Until you become a dwarf, you will never come out of your problem. Because your problem actually likes the condition you are in. Your whole wardrobe will have dresses up to there. You only choose mini skirts. A skirt that ends where it starts. You don't know why. And some of you will have a slit from there to here. Then when you get into church, you hold it. No, leave it like that. Why, why were you making it a slit up to here? Now you want to sit down. What has happened? The reality is there's something in you that likes obscenities, that likes to be naked. So in 10, you think your beauty is in exposing your body. What you do not understand is men are visual creatures. If we have seen it, we no longer need it. That's why they play around with prostitutes and merry wives. I know you, they, they didn't like me there, so I think the testimony is different that side than here. So I'm coming here. Trust me, this is the reason. Have you done any introspection? <laughs> Have you done any introspection? Have you done? No. My father was a teacher. Our first born in our family, teacher. Second born teacher. Third teacher. Teacher. Everyone is a teacher. What happened? We followed a certain system that we thought was a system. But it is a controlled by spirits, whether good or bad. There is a spirit that controls this line. I'm not saying this was bad spirits. I'm just telling you why it is that you can actually follow. Even when you know there is no money in teaching, you will find yourself teach. <laughs> I'm not saying this is demonic. No. I'm just trying to show you that it doesn't make sense why you would be a teacher when there is no money. But there is something that comes in why was it that I was born in a family of teachers? Because God knew I was going to be a teacher of the gospel. So I needed practice. So if I'm not careful, I would think there is nothing that was behind it. 
So how do we control it? I wish I could talk to maybe this year. I think my learned people are here now. There is a problem in understanding God, and I'm about to finish. There's a problem in understanding God. God controls his rules and regulations from what is called the executive court. Let me show you something. Because I know you'll not get it. Are you flowing or have gone home? You are still flowing. I want to show you something. You see this book here. There is what is called the Old Testament. The word testament is used in law courts. The court of law. That means it is not a book of do's and don'ts for Christians. You know, when people see the Bible, they think I'm seeing a rule book. Don't do this. Don't do that. If you look in the courts, there is something called the last testament and will. In other words, this book is a legal book. It is a constitution of our country, Mount Zion. It is a will of what Papa God left us when he died. Ah, that's why the Bible says a testament is not a testament until the testator dies. Until what? The testator dies. That means we don't have a new testament until Jesus dies. So the new testament does not start in Matthew chapter number one. No. Just because your book writes in New Testament, it doesn't mean to say it is a New Testament. No. New Testament only starts when Jesus dies. That means most of the things Jesus spoke that are in red are not New Testament. For God sent his son who was born under the law and followed the law and went to the synagogue as was his custom, not to the church. He was a practicing Jew. He wasn't practicing Christianity because New Testament did not come. He brought the New Testament by dying on the cross. So we are not the cause of his death. Ah, we are the result of his resurrection. No, no, no. Now, this is where the problem is with you. My sins were higher than the mountains when the Lord sanctified me. Singing glory, hallelujah. When the fire, nonsense. The devil keeps us in the past and in the future. When we all get to heaven, what about now? What are we doing now? What am I getting now? So if you are not careful, the devil will keep you in the past. You will keep be singing what happened in the past. My sins were greater. Which sins? I never sinned. Now, you see, here this is the problem. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're not getting me. What sin did I commit? Which one? If Jesus died, was I there when he died? So he died for my sins when I was not there. I wasn't even born. That's 2,000 years ago. So which sins did he die for that I had committed when I wasn't there? So who caused Jesus' death? Certainly not me. I'm asking this question now so that you understand. Which sins did Jesus die for? The past sins, the future sins, or now sins? All of them. So there is no future sin I will commit that he didn't die for. So what is my crime? I see, you see, they lost it. They lost it right there. So what crime will I commit that he has not covered? See, you can't answer that, but you wake up every day like, I'm, I've sinned now. Ah, uh, this one, I can't come out. Let me tell you something. There are things that you need to understand. Your conscience is the reason why you keep thinking you have sinned, and that's why you sin. Have you ever prophesied? about your child, but like, ah, don't play there. Please don't go there. Don't go there. Don't cross that road. And one day, cross that road and then carnially hit that baby. What did you say? I told you. No, you were not prophesying. By your words, you caused it to happen. So the person who needs rebuke is you. 
Now you were thinking, oh yeah, I, made, I said it. I said you will fail. I knew you were going to fail. Uh -huh. You said it too long. You confessed it into existence. Now you think you prophesied. You caused your own son to fail. Have you ever seen if you keep saying to someone, you are clumsy, you are clumsy, they keep dropping things. More now. You are declaring it. Let me tell you something. So, our conscience are the ones that are making us sin. Poverty. Turn to your neighbor. Say neighbor. Poverty is not the absence of resources. You're not getting me. I said poverty is not the absence of resources. It is the absence of imagination. Poverty is not the absence of money. It is the absence of imagination. You are broke because you don't think. You say, I, I knew you were, not, you were going to be angry just right there. So, so what do you think? I told you just a few weeks ago, I showed you a company that's making millions using their selling air. They put bottles on top of a mountain there. UK company. Launches $30 bottled air. This is not manufactured in a factory. No, they leave it on mountains to collect natural air. And they sell it. You, you are sitting there. I don't know what to say. <laughs> the, enemy, the enemy has attacked our family. No. <laughs> Only your brain. Until one day you rise up and say, No, man. I'm not going to be like this. It happened with Jacob. Jacob said, I will not let you go till you bless me. There comes a time in your life when you got to get to grips with yourself and say, I won't let go until you bless me. Somebody says, yes, Jacob, Jacob was stupid. He kept on wrestling with God. Why are you wrestling with God when you know you are losing? At least if I was Jacob, I would say, at least I'll be holding him. I'm going through whatever I'm hold, going through, but I'm holding Jesus. I don't care what, I'm, what you think I'm doing, but I'm holding the Lord. No matter what I'm going through, but I'm holding Jesus. Now here is what you need to understand. The power of timing. Have you noticed that if we're doing, when we were young, and I'm about to finish. When we were young, we did, I don't know what it was called, where we had a skipping rope. You remember the skipping rope? What was it called? Come. So, he's standing there. If we are doing that fish fish, right? We're going like this. Have you noticed that the person who is about to get in always goes like, who can get in? Who is ready to get in? Nah, you're, you're not hit him. Come, stand here. Stand here. You stand here. So if we are doing like this, you are about to get in. You see, he has to be, he has to time it. The problem is most of you don't time your entrance. You just rushing. No, you gotta, mm -hmm. because the things of God never create a wave. Just ride the wave that God creates. So we are in. We are in. And if he misses the time he gets in, it gets his legs what? Tangled. So your problem is not you got in let. No, you were too quick. So many men have come to me and said, you know, you know, men of God, I should have waited. I got married too quick. <laughs> you know what they would have happened? They met another woman. Very understanding. They say, I think it's the timing. No, your woman is right, but your timing is wrong. There are some points, sit down. There are some points that I know there is a demon in my family, but the only way to exit has to be done at the correct way. But at the same time, I have to deny the demon access. But in the same time, I have to see my deliverance from afar. So when we get in, guess what? He begins to jump. Now there is a rhythm. There is a rhythm. But for him to exit, he needs to exit the right time to end another loop. I, I, I'm talking to somebody. If I'm talking to somebody, 
and you understand what I'm talking about. What is causing you to get tangled in the ropes of life? Because the spirit in you will tell you that the timing is now. Because it knows you have already denied it access. Now it wants to ruin your life so you get in the wrong time. Instead of marrying at 18, you marry at 17. Instead of 28, you marry at 25. Your time is not yet. So guess what? You have nothing to feed your wife. So you think God doesn't like you. You have nothing to provide for your woman. So you think God doesn't like you. So the demon knows you ran away from it because it was causing you this kind of problems. But the problem is, it has already designed a plan for the future so that you fail wherever you go. Uh, there were seven brothers. One married a woman, and that woman and the man died. And the younger brother married the same woman, the man died. And the fifth brother married and died. And they said, you get the story. You get where we are going. And then the last brother married... And the last brother, what? Died. And then the woman died. So the program was with the woman. Whosoever marries you, dies. But the brothers did not understand it. So they kept marrying the same person and dying. Sit down, sit down. It's like what happened to Ango, Ango Red. Red will go like this in the room and see the grandfather getting cheese from a trip. And then it's the trip and grandmother, grandfather dies. And the little red goes like this, like, what happened there? <laughs> Waits, and then the trip is set again. They said, it's my turn. <laughs> Until the whole family is finished by one trip. Have you ever gone fishing? You will carry the great-grandfather of the fish and the grandfather and the mother. All the fish are like, what? where did he go? Is it just a whim and just, you went somewhere. And they keep on going. Your whole family will die with the same problem. And you never learn that there is a demon controlling everything. Not because we are controlled. Why is it like that? Why is it that your whole family will perish? Because you like the demon. You understand it? You've understood it? Me. I'll never attend Angel's Church. Never. Me. With the way I am. Yeah, with the way you are, you will not. Who are you? Who are you depending on? <laughs> Who are you really that I'm missing in this church? We are not even in chairs now. Now we are bringing more chairs. We bought 6,000 now. So we are looking for you. <laughs> you see, it's a demon that will give you reasons. But here it is. Number two of what you do. But number one, you can't do it. Only when trouble grips you and you can't do nothing about it but think of coming out when you're left with one option. You see, faith works when there is no other option. If you still have a B plan, faith is not working. Yeah, I will get money. But if it fails, I have a B plan. God says, okay, start doing your A and B plan and I'll come. If you are left with one option, only one option, that's all I have. Only one option. Are you getting this? Yes, only one option. When I got to Britain the first time, it was a time when Zimbabwe had removed visa. Uh, uh, Britain had said, all Zimbabweans now need a visa to get into Britain. I got in Egyptian Airways. And I got in there, sat down just a few weeks after this thing had been removed. And I'm going to Britain and to stay with my brother, Evangelist Lee. And on my way there, there is a guy who just sat next to me. Halfway, we go to Egypt. And this guy sat next to me. I had not noticed him the whole flight. Because there were just few people, few of us. And a man just turned to me and said, don't worry, read this verse. Uh, Genesis 1 verse number 1. I said, I know Genesis 1 verse number 1. What is he talking about? And then he stood up and said somewhere else. And never spoke to me until we got to Britain. 
And then there were people coming out, and I was going to college, and there were people coming out, and I have a letter to go to this, uh, to, that I've been accepted to a certain college there, and I, I, everything is proof, you know, 100% correct. And we were like 10 or 15 of us. And as I got there, I was supposed to be the leader. And another guy just went to another immigration officer and said they were the leader. Now he's the leader, I'm a leader. They said, what's wrong with you two people? Are you the leader or is the leader? Now, lucky enough, the, the, or rather, God enough. The letter indicated who was the leader of the college that we were, you know. He said, he's the leader of the people that, ah, okay. And now others are prevented from getting in. And I'm now standing there. And the whole team now, they said, no, you can't get in. Because there was a confusion here. I looked and this same man appeared at the end there. And he's mimicking, like, like you know, using just his lips. He said, Genesis 1 verse 1. Like Genesis 1 verse 1. I'm like, Genesis 1 verse 1? That's a useless verse, man. We want to get in here. And you are giving us Genesis 1 verse 1. Where in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Whoa, so what? I'm sitting there. I'm like, yeah, you got a point. This, this earth belongs to. Then he starts whispering, and I could hear him because you just went like that. He said, Britain does not belong to British, the British people. It was created by God. So your access, your access is from him. I got my visa nicely. I come out. The guy's like, You see, this is what I was telling you. And I see my brother waiting for me there. Never saw the guy ever again. Imagine realizing that there is some fear I have and God sends a person or rather an entity to begin to speak a verse that didn't make sense in that same location. Only demons understood the demons that were preventing me because fear is a gift of the spirit. Just like teaching, prophecy, they are gifts. The gift of faith, the gift of prophecy is a gift of the spirit. The Bible says you have not received the gift. You have not received the spirit of fear. So if you are going to receive it, it means you are given it. And if you are going to be given it, it means it's a gift. So while it's God and the Holy Ghost will give you the gifts of the spirit, the devil also gives you the gifts of the spirit. And one of them is fear. So when you fear something, don't think it's just fear. No, you have a demon. So remove fear. Every time you have fear for progress, remove it. Remove it. I said remove it. I always said that we have the largest conference facility in this country. Not a church. This is not a church. Our church is just in Airport Road. And we are building something bigger than this. By 1,000 square meters. Bigger than 800 square meters. Bigger than this. Yet this is the largest conference facility in the country. Not church building. Conference facility. Not only that, we are building the first, first transit hotel in the country. Not only that, just outside there, January, we are starting the biggest, rather, executive room hotel only. We're we talking about executive room, no, no basic room, no, executive only out here. Why are we always starting the first, the first, this, the first, this, the first? Ay, ay. Ati goni number two. Kuita number two, ati skuzui, taisus. We can't be We are two. only number one. Not us, that's what we are. We have a DNA for number one. But what? Kelima knows ke atahigo. Why is it so? Because we removed fear. Where we come from doesn't matter. <laughs> I come from Mashingo, where God comes from. All these areas he goes to, all these countries, he will be visiting from Mashingo. But do you understand what I'm talking about? I had to look at myself and say, yes, I come from this background. I have this and I have this and I have this and I have this. But you know what? I'm going to be number one. Wherever I go, I'm number one. If I enter a room, trust me, trust me, I command respect. If you don't give me respect, you will give me attention. 
I don't know. Maybe I walk, even if I walk like this, you will look. You say, who is this one? They will be, I can, you see, any place I end, I see people whispering. <laughs> even if I'm wearing a t-shirt. Command. Your presence should command something. Now, on this Sunday, when you go, you have failed this job because there is a demon that not, doesn't like to be employed. Just enter the room like this. Next, you go in. You go like, um, should I tell them to go? The manager says, who? The ones that are in the queue since I'm, the job is now mine. <laughs> this is where your problem is. You are begging for what you already own. I told you of one of my daughters in, in London there. We told her, look, she was, she was fired. I said, go back to work on Monday. She said, what? I was fired on Friday. They fired me. I said, go back. And when I go back, what do I do? Work. She said, okay. She just went behind the desk, computer desk. Arrived way before the boss arrived. The passwords were still the same. The boss came in and went like, Even the boss got confused. It didn't take two weeks, the lady was promoted. The same one they fired. I tell you this simple respect. Listen, simple fact. The only way you understand faith when you reduce faith to its basic component, it's an argument that you do against the devil. Just argue with him. He says you're broke. You say, I doubt it. You're not going to amount to anything. Me, I've already amounted to something. You are fired. Turn to your boss and say, I'm fired up. This is why I tell people, even my own daughters, I repeat this over and over again. If your husband says, I divorce you, tell him, divorce yourself. I'm not going anywhere. When you approached me, did I force you? If he says, I don't love you, and he says, don't worry, I have enough love for both of us. You and me will share this love I have. So I say, I divorce you. You're already packing your bags. Ah, ah. No, I'm not packing my bags. You, if you want to pack, you go. But make sure you pay the rent until next year for this house. Go, 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 go. You will come back. You are agreeing with nonsense because demons in your family like it. Even you, you might reason it. You, say, yeah, I, I, you know what? I understand what's happening, you know? Mm, 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 mm. Things are very difficult nowadays. Mm, difficult. People are not getting jobs. Eh. I'm not people. I'm a spirit. And the Bible says I'm like wind. You don't know where I'm going and where I'm coming from. I'm like wind. Hush. Sit down. Sit down. So now, what do you do? Number three. God speaks from what is called the executive court. And I will make this easy for you. There is an executive court, there is a judicial court, then there is a legislative court. The executive court is where God speaks. And when God speaks from the executive court, you cannot be in there because it is ruled by sovereignty. In other words, when God said, let there be, he was speaking from the executive court. No human or angel is allowed in. This is the reason why the book of Revelation, even if you fast and pray, God will not change the prophecies there. Have you ever wondered why the devil cannot be born again? Because his judgment was made from the executive court. And when the executive court decides, it's done. When he said, Adam is fallen, it was from the executive court. No matter what Adam could have done, he was a fallen man. This is where he spoke and he sat and said, Angel, on that road to school with my small bookcase, 
silver ages and two slices of bread right there as I stood before that African custard apple tree and God said I sent you to be a prophet to the nations to be a prophet to this last dispensation of prophets ah, a prophet to Christianity said I have sent you there on that spot he spoke from the executive court this is the reason why no matter who tries no matter what religion you band together I stand and say gather yourselves together from the regions of the seas from the north the south the west the east it will come to nothing speak your word against me and your word will be destroyed and annihilated for God is with me this is why they are failing to make me fall the decision was made from the executive court there no angel not even Gabriel not Michael can get in not even human beings in allow, are allowed there. If they are allowed there, it's simply to sit and see. But they can't negotiate there. That location, when you get in that location, hush. You see, I know you're not getting what I'm trying to say. Even Jesus wanted to circumvent what was happening in the judicial, in the executive court. He said, Lord, if it is the will, let this cup pass. And God said, no. The court here has decided there are only three manifestations of God. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Me and the Holy Ghost again is you, Jesus. Two of us again is one. The decision has not changed. The executive said you will die for humanity. And he said, not my will, but your will. He knew the decision to die was an executive decision that he could not go behind. He could not circumvent. He could not destroy. He could not change. It was done in the executive court. You were anointed from the executive court. Ah, I, I, I said you were anointed from the executive court. I, sit down, sit down. This is why when I was speaking in your blessed country, I mentioned something of importance that whenever the white community or rather the Western world wants to colonize a nation, they have to focus first on changing the culture. Because you need to understand that culture develops a cult following. And cult followings are very difficult to destroy. Uh, so, so the word cult and the word culture is the same word. Uh, so, so if something is a cult following, it has developed a culture before a cult following. Mm. So, so, so the Western world and the British and the Americans, they realize in all ways, always better, whenever you are colonizing a nation, remove a king. Because a king will focus on the culture of the people. So that the people do not lose a certain culture. If they slave culture, they can jump into any culture and call it democracy. Something that is failing in the Western world, they, they want to implement in your nation. I'm, I'm not against anything that is fair. I'm just saying democracy is a figment of your imagination. It doesn't exist. Real democracy is not in existence. Look at America, how they stole elections. How can you be counting votes and then you wake up and go like, um, there is a pipe that is water pipe, so we'll count the votes tomorrow. Then Trump wakes up and two million votes are no longer on him. They are on his. Right now they are arresting Hunter Biden. You hear me from a prophet. You hear this from a prophet. They are trying to say we are arresting Hunter Biden, but it is a smoke screen. They want to say, look at what we do. We are fair. Well, is they are stealing elections there. So you would think they are still fair because they also are giving this one a hard time who is the son of another president who stole elections. Because you see, it is impossible to vote for a president who can't even speak and doesn't know most of the times where he is. No. 
I'm speaking as a prophet, not as an ambassador. So I have to say this. You ask the ambassador, he will say something else. But just imagine voting for someone who doesn't know you're voting for them. They constantly call their own vice president the president. Every moment they move, they fall. You give them a mic, mic to speak, they say, yes. We should not allow me to win. <laughs> Democracy. It's because we have a problem. We do not understand what we are doing. When culture is removed, that's why Spirit Embers is a culture of, we have a culture of our own. We are the good news nation. Notice Amen. why we put it as a, a nation. Amen. Because we are trying by all means to preserve the culture. We, you see, the songs we sing are ours. We don't sing another person's song. We sing our songs. What are we trying to put out there? A culture. So this culture we have, we should never be, should never be destroyed. Yeah. Hear this. Hear this. Then there is a location called the judiciary. The judiciary is where, because God doesn't want humanity to not have a say in his decisions. So he has invited human beings to negotiate with him. So he says, let us reason together. Come, let us reason together. So when you are in the judiciary court, that's where everyone is allowed to even reason with God. That's what the Bible says, come bring your strong reasons. Bring your strong reasons. I'm going to be very short on it. Look at Abraham. When God was going to Sodom and Gomorrah, going to Bennett, he said, let's tell Abraham before we do it. Why? Because for the first time, God had taken a man out of all the courts and put him in the executive court. Decision-making position. God would also be there. The Holy Ghost in Jesus. One God in three manifestations. And then Abraham will also be listening in. But he's not allowed to argue from that standpoint. He's only allowed to hear what was happening. But the point in this moment, they had not allowed him to hear that they were about to burn Sodom and Gomorrah. So God said, no, 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 no. We need to tell Abraham. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble in the courts of heaven. He will ask, when did you make this decision, this decision when I was not there? So you have to investigate what your man of God is. In the days of the apostles, the people investigated their own men of God. They were not willing to touch him. Peter, James, Andrew, all these apostles, they investigated them to the point that when the apostles would be walking down the street, they put their sick so that the shadow of the apostles would fall on them and they get healed. Now, if you have not investigated your man of God, you will rush every time to where he is and try to say, please lay hands on me, please, because your investigation is not really on. A woman left Belvedere when we were at 33 Boxborough Avenue. Belvedere, with a dead body of a son. The ambulance said, oh, no, we can't, be. the police are coming. She said, in that gap where the ambulance is there and the police are supposed to come to collect the body, she grabbed the dead body of her son, put in her car, closed the door, drove to 33 box or bell. When she was on her way, she said, nah, the prophet might not be there. He gave me a wristband. She took a wristband, put in the, and the baby came back to life. The son came back to life. She had realized, I don't need him to touch nothing. <laughs> ah, are you getting this? Are you getting this? What is really taking place? Was it a few weeks ago? Two families came here. Their child, one child dead, another one dead, and they all came back to life. The idea that they could believe whether they believed on their own, 
The idea that they could believe was because our church here says anything is possible. Are you flowing? Moses said, if you do not repent, God, remove me from the book of life. Huh? How do you negotiate like that? It is when a man has been taken to the executive court of God and God starts making decision with him. What about the elders, the 24 elders? When John thought humanity was lost, he said, I cried. And to an angel said, wait, don't cry. There is something. And the angel also did not know what it was. He was looking for the person who would open the book. And the Bible says, and, and an elder who sits by the courts of God came out of the court and went towards John and said, weep not, for I found the person who can open this. He is saying there is a court system in there. In our deliberations in the court, executive court, we realize there is a man who could do this. But we know humanity, you don't know what we know here because you exist in the judicial court. Then there is what is called the legislative court where God writes laws. In that place, anger of God works, love of God works, grace of God works, and mercy of God works. Only that. And you can't influence his mercy. So God can decide, I'm angry at a person. If I'm, I'm angry, I'm about to kill you. And the mercy of God rises and says, how can I kill Ephraim. It is only him who can change his own decisions in that court. And no matter how you think, one person here can mess up, a man of God can mess up, a Christian can do a crime, can commit a crime that you think this one is going to hell. Yet in that moment the mess of God had already risen. And now you are now opposing God, not him. So when you are opposing the Christian, you are opposing him. Ah, I don't know if you're hearing me. I don't know if you're hearing me. <laughs> there are so many things that you do not understand. I get asked a lot of questions. Are Christians allowed to drink beer? Are they allowed to drink beer? Are they allowed to marry two wives? You see, whenever you hear such a question, the person has already gotten in. They're already on the beer side of it. Are we allowed to smoke? The Bible says, thou shalt not smoke the bush. <laughs> now you're busy looking for that scripture, right? You will spend your whole lifetime looking for that scripture and not find it. Are you getting this? Your desires should not justify your sin. Now, I did not say drinking or whatever is wrong, okay? The Bible says a bishop should be a husband of one wife. Are you a bishop? Okay. Let me forget about that. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. You can move around trying to justify something because your sin delights in the thing, so you justify it. The whole church that was there during the time of Jesus was a church that was taken out of, out of paganism and out of Judaism. That means there were people there with seven wives, three wives, two wives, that the men had to say these words to, to calm them down because everyone would have left church. Then the Bible says, you should not be drunk with wine where in is excess. Not in its excess. Where in ease, inside the wine, is excess. Now, God has no problem with you drinking anything you like. Beer, wine, alcohol, whatever it is you can find your mouth in. Drink it. I heard someone here say, Amen. <laughs> the problem here becomes this. That the Bible says... Be not be drunk with wine, way in his excess, but be filled, or rather be ye drunk in the Holy Ghost. The word filled there is be ye being filled. Keep on drinking the Holy Ghost. Now that means we have two things here. Number one, we have the Holy Ghost. Then we have, all right, this is the Holy Ghost. This is the wine. The wine, the Holy Ghost. Now God is saying these two things are intoxicating. 
they all make you drunk. Now choose what you like to be drunk with. It's not wrong to drink wine. It's not wrong to drink the Holy Spirit. But this one is what you brewed with your own cousins. This one is what I brew. So the problem now is not drinking. It's making sure you choose the right cook. No. You're missing what I just said. Who do you like? Do you like your cousin's beer or my type of beer? Now, if you choose your cousin's beer, then God says your cousin is now your God. And now the Bible says you should not be allowed in the temple of God with beer. Alcohol is not allowed in the temple of God. So drink as long as you are not the temple of God. So the God has no problem with alcohol. As long as you are not putting it in his temple. Anyway, forget about it. <laughs> now I know you are going to go home. You hear say you said you should have many wives. Number two, you should drink so much. I know you. They have been waiting for that right now. The unction you are here for, in a few minutes, you will receive it. This is an impartation. It's an impartation request. Ah! Palena Junema. Ah! In a few minutes, God will be speaking everywhere. And this is now the time. Ah yeah la 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 disco dies Ah there is 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 um is just by here. So it's easy. Easy, sir. Hello, man. Oh, this guy no rende giam. Perus et Fred ka al diluch ka no mahel. Let it is no mro tagira song. Just minister three of your songs that you choose. Oh, whatever. How are you feeling, Spirit Embassy? Are you ready for Anakazo? Let's go. Yeah. Turn it up. Yeah. Are you ready? Na 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 Anakazo. Are you ready? Yeah yeah. Just one more time, more more of it as it out, I leave it or you fly. Supernatural ability to make me shine. Fast forwarding of everything in my life. Oh, yeah, Simba here in Dori, that was just one more time. More more of it as it out, I leave it or you fly. Supernatural ability to make me shine, to make me shine, to make me shine. Compelling ability to make me prosper. I do believe, Major Vakazi won. Ability to make me prosper. I do believe, Major Vakazi won. Man, you will look for me. I do believe me chava kazi wana ability to make me prosper 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 Habakkuk 3 verse 3 You came from the mountains, I see, I see Oh yeah, Habakkuk 3 verse 3 You came from the mountains, I see, I see We declare Holy Father Whose foundation is in the mountains Make me conquer Holy Father Whose foundation is in the mountains Make me conquer Let me hear you say uh, Anakazo 
Say, Anakazo, ah, Anakazo, Anakazo, ah, Anakazo, Anakazo, ah, Anakazo, Sing with me, are you ready? You have anybody say, ah, uh, Anakazo. Say, Anakazo, ah, uh, Anakazo. Say, Anakazo, ah, uh, Anakazo. Anakazo, ah, uh, Anakazo. Anakazo, ah. Uh. Crucified life. Yeah. Are you ready for this one? Oh, yeah, Becca, oh, yeah. Juicy boy, Bunny Beat, oh. Cool news music. Yeah, yeah. Say, this is my story, and I am not sorry. Living high above my situations daily. It is his spirit living in my body. That's what I chose, my brother, just my nose to me. This is my story, a provoked encounters. Encounters, Romo the emotions. Calling up and running, who you are. Many of my days I wanna praise all you are. When they see me walking, they should see yes, you are. Say, it's a deeper calling up and running, who you are. Many of my days I wanna praise all you are. When they see me walking, they should see yes, you are. That is the way I want to live my life, 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 live my life. That is the way you should live your life. Live your life, 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 live your life. For you, I want to burn like a fire, fire. For you, I wanna burn like a fire, fire. For you, I want to burn like a fire, 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 fire. For you, I want to burn like a fire, fire. Never put in a For you, I wanna burn like a fire, 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 fire. I am an ancient creature, I am the ancient world in my spirit, I am the ancient world in my body. Now I am singing, I am an ancient creature, I am the ancient world in my spirit, I am the ancient world in my body. Yeah, yeah, it's a deeper calling up and running who you are. Many of my days I wanna praise all you are. When they see me walking, they should see yes, you are. Calling up and running who you are. Many of my days I wanna praise all you are. When they see me walking, they should see yes, you are. Say, that is the way I want to live my life. Live my life, live my life. Live my life, live my life. Live my life, live my life. That is the way you should live your life. Live your life, live your life. Live your life, live your life. Live your Are you ready? Say, for you I want to burn like a fire, fire. For you, I wanna burn like a fire, fire. For you, I want to burn like a fire, 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 fire. For you, I want to burn like a fire, fire. They're putting that heat on my hand. For you, I wanna burn like a fire, 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 fire. Now I wanna sing a yeah, yeah. I am an ancient creature, yeah, yeah. I need the ancient world in my spirit. I need the ancient world in my body. Now I wanna sing a yeah yeah. I am an ancient creature yeah yeah. I need the ancient world in my spirit. I need the ancient world in my body. Jesus, can I prophesy? Stand here. Just stand here. Smile. Smile. Because you start showing your face like, ah, I will leave you alone. 
I like joy. People should just be smiling. Anticipate what God is about to happen. What God is about to, to make happen. Anticipate, trying to get in. In the realm of the spirit, I saw a wind and it was blowing. And there is nothing right now to write home about. Everything the enemy has stolen from you. You are somebody that is just wandering in the dark now. I'm coming right now. Come on. Stand here. Is this your first time here? Your first time? Yeah, yeah. Your first time to talk to me? Okay, stand here. Last one, no You, come here. Is your first time here? Yes, daddy. Your first time? First, first time. Mm. You, 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 huh? Only dreaming about you. Six Only dreaming. Trial. Okay, no problem. This, you have a lot of problems. Yes, please, dad. A lot of problems. Yes, please, daddy. Because it was as though somebody picked you up from nowhere. Yes, dad. And your name began to move a little bit. Yes. It was moving. Yes, Dad. Then a woman rose. Yes. yes. To scatter everything. Everything. They claimed they slept with you. Yes, a lot. Baran is sick in us. Prophesy, Meta. Even as I'm speaking to you now. Yes. There is one of your own, because I'm seeing a church being established. Like, like you founded, like you started a group. Yes, yes, Daddy. Now. The pastor now you are you are praying for now yes, is a pastor in a location called Muzuzu. Yes, daddy. There is one pastor there in Zuzu. The one and you are thinking this one is the one who will stand with you. Yes, daddy. But it's now you have a fear that you might also go. That's true. Because people are leaving now. That's, that's true. Remember the woman from Namibia? Yes, yes. Talk to me. Yeah. I saw this. It was written all over. Yes, daddy. They are trying to destroy you. Blackmailing. They are trying everything. Ah, that it, it was my pastor. Ah. Because I anointed as my pastor and then he's taking out everything. In Namibia. She's taking out everything. Everything. Going in houses of people, evangelizing. Evangel leave this man. It's leave called it. de-evangelizing. <laughs> Talk to me, daddy. Talk to me. I'm here for this. I prophesy major. Hey. Hey. I want to speak to you. Please Come. start. What to what caused you all this time? To mm. you know there is a person. Yes, dad. And he was standing and st sitting next to you. Yes, my dad. And I'm seeing somebody. They are speaking and they said a wrong word about Bushiri. A lot that I have. Because I'm seeing you and somebody very close to you is like, look at this man. Look at this man. We can take even in Muzuzie. We'll take over. Bushiri will not take over. A lot that Those statements cause you to get in the problem you are. Please, I'm here for restoration. My right, so. This is my DNA. Ah. And I saw I a name. Back to my house. Come, come, endo, come, endo, come, endo. It's my father's name. It's my son. Pareta Lagasco, my father's name. Bright, bright, bright. Brighton. Brighton. Brighton is my son. Barreton Alegoskaye. Major. Restore me, my father. Restore me. On behalf of Bushiri, I absolve you of everything. Thank you, Jesus. When you go back, yes, daddy. you are restored. I receive. Malesara. Fire the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Your ministry yes. will be restored. I receive it. 
Because I see Malawi. Yes, that's from Malawi. You're from Malawi. I'm from Malawi. Your ministry yes, is going to be restored. I receive it. Hey. I receive it. Hey! You are one word is my command. Hey! Mm. I need to move around. I, I'm tired. There is something. The Namibia one is okay. I'm not saying it's okay what's happening. There is the fight. But fight. these women now, now I'm seeing fight. This one is like, hey, he's my boyfriend. Not that he's my man. Just destroy him because people for that reason. <laughs> and then this one thinks, ah, if this one is taken, I want it to be taken by the men of God. So yes. the other one has jealousy, the other one has jealousy, the other one has jealousy. All of them now are coming up to claim all kind of things. Exactly. Even today. I... <laughs> I... Should I leave this alone? Oh, please, that. Do something major. Your ministry fell because of one thing. Yes, that. It wasn't all this. It was because of Bushiri. Yes, that. Let me tell you one thing. Said I loved that man. You need to love him, not loved. Let me tell you one thing. Most of the people you don't like are anointed without your permission. That's why you don't like them. You wanted to be called into the meeting to decide whether we anoint angel or not. Now God didn't call you and he only anointed me without your permission. Now you don't like me. I want you to understand, as you live here, tomorrow I have a service with um, International Visitors. Be in that meeting. I'll, I'll I want to sure. specifically pray for you. Please. And something will begin to move. This is my opportunity, my father. Please. And I want to tell you, Prophet Bushiri doesn't hate you. He loves you. I sent my wife even there just yes, on Friday. Uh, I said, my, my wife, this is where we belong to. Uh, go and meet the prophet Esmer Bushiri. She did it. Uh, she said, go. But I don't think you went and told them that uh, there were some words. No, no, no. That didn't. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Ay! By fire and by power. Oh, yes. I see movements. I receive. In the spirit. I receive. My brother, why are you leaving? You need to be here. Where I put you is where you stand. Because you don't want to be where God was. No, God. You want to be where God is. <laughs> it will never go down. We were anointed from the executive court. Your finances are from the executive court. The decision has been made, signed, sealed, delivered. It is yours. Viewers all over the world, join us, join us in the same spirit. Something is happening for you. I saw as if two thrones fighting in your family. Speak to me. Two Major. thrones fighting. That one is dragging you to the other direction. Another other direction. It's true. That when you came here right now, it's a battle of spirits. It's very true. You I are even confused. confused. Some of the spirits, you see them in dreams. It's very you true. are even confused now, like, do I go this way? Am I called to this? Am I supposed to be in ministry? Or am I supposed to be in business? That's this very true. In Prophet. a few minutes, we, I'm coming there. Yes. Bareton. We are rewriting destinies. Son, come. The first time I laid my eyes on you, God showed me a multi-millionaire. It was written, multi-millionaire. But the enemy has tried to destroy you for long. When people see you, they say, ah, this man has everything together. But spirits have been fighting you even in dreams. Hear me. Hear me well. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, when you go back. Amen. 
Let me ask you like I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just asking you a question, eh? Answer nicely. Amen. Are there two women watching? No. Now, so this is the best location. If they are not watching, they watch after. Amen. And when they watch after you, they've made this a decision for one. In the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. So. My father. So what is going to happen is, after I finish with you for a few minutes, Amen. I might come back to you. Amen. But what you do is, the moment I indicate the right one, you Amen. go block the other one. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy major. One is going to be blocked in the name of Jesus. <laughs> hey! I, I began to see. Amen. Your connection with me was done years ago. Yes, my father can call. But you were looking for some way to come see me. Yes, my father. So one time it was finances. Another time it was if I go there, I might not even be able to see him. Yes, my and father. And it took you years. Yes, my because father. Because I'm seeing you. Hello, Shinamai. So at first when I looked at you, I saw a connection between ah, you and me. My father, my father. And I thought they were, I was being told thrones, but I was being shown thorns. Ah, thorns. Oh, my father, I had a dream. I had uh -huh. a dream. I had a, I had a vision. I was home. I was praying and there were trees that could not see they could sense movement they had thorns they wanted to pierce me they wanted to pierce me they wanted to pierce me and 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 god said to me that don't make movement be still but i got tired you saw me in that same vision yes i got you tired. are my son you appeared and what did i say you you decreed upon them they fell down and then you pointed a finger at me you said you are my son i know you by name you are a prophet to christianity a prophet to this last dispensation raise your hands wherever you are raise your hands to that brother i'm telling you now if he is not known he is known now ah, 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 you are not hearing me if he is not known, he is going to be known now. Oh my God, my God, my God. Zeri Daleka Nomai. Begin to decree that whatever his calling is, the world will hear him. And nations will come to hear wisdom from his lips. Begin to decree it now. Begin to decree it. Bala. Semano. Erika Katai. Ay! Veresuma and Talegijo, Sakete Beleketaba, Rika Somo Shita Igevele Mekuskati, Sekupran Talagi Balama, Shepe Berekis Compa Taliga Bani Kanto, Veleki Proski Bejelekisko, Saluka Prakaski Atalama, Jaya Papa Kayena Masoko Prontaligaba, Salomon Bredige Dia Santo, Sheleko Prohaski Atalama, Veresu Sheleme Commander Asiato. Penteke yenasu, ve soko taliga bahanda, jaba baya makaskete leme. Pray, 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 pray. Raise your hands and begin to pray. Ya soko pronta la giba yika nama, shepe pe yuko ma, elaku prakataliga, so resho taliga baliva, isarupa akisto bolomo, shepe pe yemoku. The Lord will do something. As you pray for him, your own power is being realized. Masoko pronta likataya, jihu jabahaya, reketele behere dianto, maso prokta lakiata, jibahu zakaya, reketele behe, parontele kreis takila dianto, jihu jabahaya, randa kataya baha, jupate karo salinanto, rus kreis takila dianto, zakataya bahaya, reketele behere de, zante rakato, Maruka para dianta, jipra ze krontalika, nanda kaya taya kabahaya, peron telekete, zako proktala karadianta, zizahija kabahaya, 
lente reketelete raso proktala kala dianto jite jakaya taya rafa katala kerato manto proskela diato jipa huzakaya yeketele begete zakataya bahaya rante korato ya nianta Zekido ba ripronte lekete ya ligraske jakalata ya rahuja bahaya jekete kebegete randa kata 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 jakahuja kada ya ba pero salo kata ya po manoko prokta la kaya dianto rahija kaya rende kerekete lebehe ya parokoto jekete kebegehe rasi kaponda dianto maraglera dianta kaya jibahaza kaya. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Come. There is a move of the spirit that God has called you into. And a lot of people will wonder why you are like this. Amen. There is a move. Amen. It is like a calling Amen. that you have ignored for too long. Amen. A calling. Amen. Up, up in I'm seeing. Even as the other brother that I said impartation there, it's the same thing with you. Amen. There is a search for impartation. I receive. An impartation search. Impartation search. And in this meeting, My father. something big is about to take in place. In the name of I Jesus. Jesus. Destinies are being altered. In the I name of Jesus. I Destinies are being altered. I don't know why. It's like every time I look at you, there is a letter T. Tabang is my name. Huh? Tabang is my Tabang name. Tabang is your name. <laughs> but notice here. There are things that God will prevent from happening to us because he loves us. That we can get a chance to mess up and still come back. Amen. Stand up. We can get a chance to mess up and still be able to come back. Amen. Because you were caught betwixt two. Amen. But there is one you know Amen. the intentions are pure. Amen. But there was a mistake. In a season she left. It's like, is this person coming for the right reason? Oh. Remember the car, uh. the dream of the car. Uh. This is, I don't know why, uh, M, I had a, M, I had M, 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 the, the girl, the girl, the girl who went and is now coming back. Her surname is Moped. Mopedi. M. M. So that's the same name. And when you talk about the car, uh -huh. there's, there's a lady that I wanted to get to know. Uh, I came with good it's intentions. okay, don't worry. Yes. They are not so watching. I just, I just, all of a sudden I had a dream. I was involving God in it. And she got into my passenger seat in the vision and the car turned to become a bicycle. And I fell down and people were laughing at me. And people were laughing. Now, there is a restoration that has come to you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, you, you heard the name? You heard the name we mentioned here? I, I heard the name. Mark. Run. Go, go. Use your phone. Block the other. No, you don't block the name we mentioned. You see, God will tell you, this one is the right one, this one is the wrong one, this one is the right one, this is the wrong one. It's only you. Your flesh will jump for the other one. <laughs> now you know now there is a demon that likes the other girl, not you. Because your destiny will like what the destiny delights in. But because there are demons that are sent to mess up destinies. Do you know each other, you two, you, you and him? Do you know each other? You, you, sir, you come close. You and the brother here, you come as well. This one, this one here, and this one. Do you know each other? No, you we don't, don't know each other. We don't know each other. 
Oh, you don't know each other? No. no, no, no. This lady that is destroying your church, where is she? In where? In, in which part? In Namibia. Namibia and Kitmashio. Where do you stay? In Namibia. Marika Toshina Maal Ertiguskebe. Those who are here, if you are hearing me now and seeing me, <laughs> you've already looked at your miracle. You no longer need to search for that miracle. It is already here. I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. Lela Tatuzinem, Efradigo Sovarat, Increta Gust Elaganung. Mama, come out here. God loves you. And He's about to do something for you. Because I saw sickness in the family. And I'm coming here. Because God wants you to live longer. Thank you. Live longer than the enemy had planned. Thank you. Thank you. Because from those before you, it is a rare privilege to live long. Stand there. I'm coming. There. Very true. Allah, gentlemen. Zekuda Come, you. Don't worry about your situation. The Lord will do something. I receive. But though I saw Namibia, I'm seeing your umbilical cord here. Yes, I'm from here. Very true. True, senior. He's confirming he's from Zimbabwe prophet. There is a power that you begin to possess. I receive. But there is also something that will come over your life. And it is something to do with your hands. Your hands. I receive. Your hands. It is something to do with your hands. I receive. Prophesy. Prophesy. I don't know this prophecy now that you are shouting I should prophesy. I'm seeing you as a multi-millionaire, but the Lord ministered to me. I receive. It will be to do with the soil. The soil. The soil. It is not soil like you are going to find it expensive, like, oh, I'm going to Arare. Even in the areas of Banda. Can I speak? I'm not going to mention our parts, okay? You are safe. I receive, I receive. He, <laughs> he was seeing the direction I was going. He said, mm, if he keeps going that direction, we might have information we don't want out here. Today is my day. Ah, today is your day. You just made a deal here. <laughs> this man is wise. He's like, no, 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 no. Come here. Can I whisper? Uh, we need to talk here. Yeah, no, with this area you're about to go to, don't go there. So we will not go there. Yeah? That thing we are talk, we, you told me about here, it's safe in your hands. Amen. Yeah? They won't hear it. Yes, prophet. So what he was saying was, <laughs> I'm not going to tell them. But I need to pray for you. Because, uh, see that thing? The thing? The thing? Yes, prophet. This Gwanda, what is Gwanda? Gwanda, I come from Gwanda. You come from Gwanda. Yes, I see something that I don't know how to describe it without somebody feeling some kind of way. But I see that, oh, how many children do you have? I have four. You have four? Yes, prophet. Hey, that was a miracle. Let me explain why. Because this is a death that has troubled you. 
a death of your first person. My wife. Your first wife died. She, yes, she died. You have another one now. She was the second one. Yeah. Now I'm married now. So I'm seeing now the problem. Hey, the problem. Maybe you need the whisper again because these people. From here, going down. Very, very true. You can't satisfy her now. I was once prayed for. Oh, don't worry. Because even if you try to do anything, even if you love her, to do anything to perform, it's impossible. Very true. Very, very true. I'm Sometimes not shy to say this. It happens. A soldier does not stand up to do anything. Very true. You will live here different. I'm telling you oh, now. I receive. I receive. Imagine you go to war. Huh? You have your whole army ready. The enemy is approaching. And your gun can fire. To you it's not a problem. That's why during the days of slavery, they would cut your manhood, you would choose. Do we cut your manhood or cut one leg? And many had a choice. Either to hope to a woman <laughs> or arrive on two legs and do nothing. These, these white people were very bad. Cut a leg, choose a leg or manhood. People will be like, here yeah, it is. Cut it. <laughs> we can't afford this thing. So to you, it's not a problem. Because it's a funny problem. But if you're a man, if you know what a man is, to have that problem is a huge problem. Let me tell you something. We change stories. I'm saying we change stories here. I receive. I said we change stories. I receive it. Prophet, I want to confirm something. Don't, don't worry. Tell him so that he knows if it's okay for you to confirm it. All well, these things we are revealing here, yes. they are very difficult to confirm. Eh? Prophet, I want to confirm that the same story has also affected my father. Oh. Like that, it just developed. But you remember your know. father you are talking about now? Your father is a hothead. Was a hothead. He was indeed. Hey, now he's even because of age. Now he's better now. And indeed he's aged. Because remember when she chased your mother away? Yes. And then brought her back. And indeed they once separated for 14 years and she came, mom, mom came back. <laughs> How this information keeps on going like this? There is a move. And I don't even know how this thing happens. No one is greater than me in prophecy. I'm the best of them. You know, sometimes I, I woke up one day, I was troubled. I said, if I want a Mercedes Benz, I buy. If I want a jet, I can buy. <sighs> Where would I get the problem? Because I'm, I see people giving testimonies here, say, hey, they are testifying about children I have. They are testifying about getting money. I am rich. What is going to be my testimony? I said, my testimony is God has kept me rich. My testimony, God gave me all this. My testimony, my children are serving the Lord. My testimony, every time you can find a testimony in anything you do. You don't say, me, I know everything. I don't have any testimony. No, your testimony. You not having a testimony is a testimony. You are still alive. You did not die. That's a testimony. Where is Craig Bond? There is that yes. song, Zemoyo, by you and the other one. Zemoyo. I think you'll just be singing alone since Rebels is somewhere else. New Year's Eve is coming. Whatever country you are in, be in Zimbabwe at that time. Trust me on this one. Where are you going? Go, go there. You might, you might miss your million. Hey. It's 
Send here. Good news music. Craig Bone, Rap Boss. No Friday, this is life. We taking over, going deeper. But you shouldn't have got sicker. We never go the far away, I go. Now gonna get me to celebrate my goal. Just like my father, prophet angel. I feel angels everywhere. They feel like top my way. And then I just so wanna go. Looking so fly, heaven on earth is a life. Everything sweet, gone, give me a high five. That's the kind of life that I like. Feeling all right, feeling all might. Praise the all might, yeah, praise the all might. It's just so you, my love. You ain't the same as any other. I'm just so like a bend. More you want to go, my You're my international baba. I'm so loved up from Harare to the, the big London. Anybody against us, they can't touch us. In Nini Najesu, we're so loved up. Moyo, deep in love. There's one more chicken arte. There are disco ma. Fire the Holy Ghost. Is it your birthday? My life, Papa. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is increase, increase, Jesus, Jesus. Mm. What's happening with you? What happened? The creek. Mighty name of Jesus.
Remove that thing. You heard me talk. Remove that thing. Listen, raise your hands wherever you are. Miracles are happening, prophet. Instant miracles in the building, prophet. You just prayed for this lady, prophet. She had a crack on her arm. And because of that, she couldn't move even this right hand, prophet. But after praying for her, you commanded us to say, remove this thing. After removing it, the hand is moving. It's already up in the air. The God of Prophet Human Angel doing wonders. It's happening. It's happening. Look at this. Look at this. Instant miracles Give in Jesus the building. Give Jesus a shout of praise, somebody. Let me tell you something. Are you here? There is a point where John was having a problem like I mentioned earlier. And whenever the, when the angel so John, John knelt down before the angel. And the angel said, do not kneel down. For I am of the line of your brothers, the prophet. And of the brothers of the prophet. And am your fellow servant. Do you understand? When man begins to fraternize with divinity. To a point where angels begin to call you brother. Hey. You now have touched a certain nerve in the spirit. When Michael comes to your house and says, Brother, Brother Tony, Michael, you'll be like, Are you lost? Do you know your address? Is this the one? Brother. What kind of talk is this? My brother. <laughs> so, before I, I don't have to forget, but in, in the house here, and we have to give them a spirit members welcome. Uh, his Royal Highness Prince Lindan of Eswatini is here. Uh, son to King Muswadi III. I don't know whether the cameras are showing that or... Oh, we can do better than that. I need to see everyone. Now hear this. We have the private secretary to His Majesty the King and also the deputy chief officer in the King's office, Mr. Mbongeni Smelani. I believe I pronounced that right. A very brilliant man. Are you seeing him? I need to see the whole church. Who is at the back there? We honor you and we appreciate your presence here. And they were very, very cordial. We went together to the Good News City and prayed in there. It's amazing. Amazing. We also have Ambassador Lindiwe Kunene, uh, Eswatin Ambassador to Zimbabwe. There she is. And uh, she has been following the ministry for over six years and is also a financial partner. So you can do better than that. And we have the ambassador of Eswatin to Qatar. Ambassador soldier Eswatin to Qatar is here. Brilliant. Your Excellency, it's good to see you here. Are you, are you doing it like you should be doing it? If there is something I've taught you guys is to know how to react in the presence of greatness. To know how to act in the presence of greatness. When our president won the election, someone came and said, he's not my president. I said, no matter whether you like it or not, he is your president. 
He won the elections and is your president. These things about the favor of God that he bestows on kings. When he grew up, I don't think he thought he was going to be the ambassador. No, but it happened. I don't think she thought she was going to be the ambassador. I don't think he imagined being in the office of the king as much as the king. But God orchestrated it that way. Gave them favor that way. That there were so many millions. Imagine. Out of hundreds and hundreds of thousands, millions, they were chosen to be in these positions. It is not by chance. It is by divine will and divine purpose. Thank you so very much, Your Highness and His Excellencies. And Your Excellency, thank you so very much. You can take your seats if you want to sit. Then we have uh, my son, Pastor Tony, the prophet of Eswatin. Trust me, you will see more. You will see more. You will hear more in Eswatin. Trust me. He is going to be the voice that they shall listen to. And he's going to say prophecies that they will know. Wait, let's wait and see if they, that happens. And when it happens, they will say, there is no way we can deny this one. This coming year we are in, which is going to be the year of... Uh, mm -hmm. Come New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve. And we shall be here to capacity. And we also have uh, His Excellency you. And without you, we can't be here. And viewers all over the world, we are privileged to have these dignitaries with us, and I know there are many dignitaries here. Uh, don't think I don't appreciate you. I've just not been told your names, but we love you and we honor you, and we are praying for you. Um, and as somebody said in the right way, uh, Pastor Chris, my spiritual father, said something very important. He said, these people do not know what you guys do in the political field. You are doing what Christians can't do so that Christians keep doing what they do. I don't know if you're getting this. In other words, we can't be in your office to represent us with a king. You, we can't be in your office to represent your country in this country. We can't do it, but we can only pray. So for us to continue praying, we need you to cover the areas you are covering. Otherwise, if we cover there, cover here, cover there, we are jack of all trades and master of none. So you need to be masters in your areas while we master prayer. We master the things of God. We master this and remember to pray for you. So thank you for all you are doing for your country. Thank you so much and for us. Thank you. We can do better than that. Do something. Do something. Do something. Everybody, let's go.
say forever is mercy and truth. Come to one who wants swallow me up. Oh. Jesus, tell me, come follow me up. Oh. We hear over the coming now. Oh, my enemies can't harm me now. Devil is a lie, can't harm me now. We hear over the coming now. Oh, my enemies can't harm me now. Devil is a lie, can't harm me now. Grave, I give thanks for the good life. That's the one who changed my life. And I 
Give thanks to him. Give thanks for the good life. Uh, if it wasn't for the Lord, I'd be dead in the grave. Give thanks for the good life. Wouldn't have made it. Wouldn't have made it. Lord, you my hero. Everybody. Wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for you my Uko Don't 
They want you back there. I think they don't listen. They want you back there. So I remember one wedding. We had one person and we had coffee all of me this seeing at this wedding. Way back. And you know, Kofi Olomide just repeats some words that you don't know. So there is a song, he says, Chivundu. <laughs> this woman said, Tokora Chivundu Ichochu. <laughs> Repeat that Chivundu. <laughs> Good news music. I'm grateful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. He loves me, yes, he loves me. I got it. So love me. Yes, I need again and again and again. Yes, I need again. Yeah.
Just to see what only you can do, what only you can do. You sent a prophet of our time for us to see what only you can do, what only you can do. You sent the Moses of our time, he is the Moses of our time for us to see. Why is Pastor Farai? I know it's in the morning. Come. This this couple here. Yes. Talk to them. Okay. Be just hear what they want, and you know where to put them. There is a lady here. Ah, you didn't say it's you. (laughs) 
You are waiting for what is coming after the lady here. Yeah. If it's one million, you're already late. There is a lady here. This lady, don't worry about it, okay? Is this your first time here? Okay. Don't worry about it, okay? We can reverse anything, bring anything back that you lost. It is possible. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Same problem with you. Come close. You have the same problem. You, do, you, just do, you know you don't know each other, right? Yeah, you have the same problem. Don't worry. Yeah? Don't worry. Go sit down. It's okay. Huh? You, you, you. Go take this. Go sit down. But from now on, anger is you see it. Yeah? Men. Mm -hmm. Men will not stand for anger. Men. They go. Is this your first time? Oh. So, were you thinking you would be called? I was believing God for the first time. You were believing God for this. Don't worry about TV and all that. I'm also coming on TV. Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> Make this your home. All right? Thank you. Thank you. There is sometimes it is not our duty to try and make things right here. You see this brother here? You see this brother? Huh? This young man here will take care of the family. This one. I know right now, it doesn't look like that. Peer pressure. A lot of people that he lined up with, now is things that you might not like as a family. So you came so he can be delivered. But one day he'll be delivering you. Ah. Ah. He's looking at me funny. Even him, he doesn't believe what I'm saying. You will be the one that you take over. Now women are taking over. You are the father of the house. We are three girls. He's the only boy and he's the last boy. He's the only boy in the family, prophet. How is it that this time he stayed all this hours without drinking? He's still standing here. Eh? He's not addicted. There is a yeah, demon that him, likes prophet. beer on him. Deliver him. From as I speak now. I cancel. G give me a bottle of water. I want to change your appetite for beer now. Do it. Please. Oman, how old is your child? Four months. Don't worry, smile. Four months. And... The, oh, don't worry, whoa. Man, we have to try better, all right? If you give your child, put your child in somebody's womb, why run? Don't worry, all right? Don't worry. You know, I want to tell you something. I'm a man. Hmm? You are crying. I'm a man. You know this one is his child. You know everything is okay. You know you love the person. But any man would run away at the thought of his wife speaking to his ex. Hmm? Yes, prophet. Yeah, you, you're, not, you're not getting me. If you have a husband and you speak to your ex, any man, no matter you are pregnant with 16 children, the more people in your womb, the more they want to punish you with that one, they will leave. Do you believe I'm a prophet? Huh? I'm still asking this woman. Do you believe I'm a prophet? I believe. You believe? Yes, sir. Ah. Why is this your first time coming here? You believe I'm a prophet? And this is your first time coming here. Hmm. You don't need a bus to come from town. You can walk. She believed I'm a prophet. All these years, she only came now. Now, this is...
say no. Oh, uh, this is you. This is you entering this place. Wanika, Wanika. Yes, I see it, Wanika. Flats. What is Wanika? I see it, Wanika Floods. It's Wanika Floods. That's yes. where you stay. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay. I'll tell the world of what you have done for me. I'll tell the world of what you have done for me. Ah! Mm -mm. So don't worry about your situation. I want you to meet uh, Pastor Felix before you leave here. Be part and parcel of the ministry uh, so you can be schooled in the word. And this child, don't worry. Okay? God will take care. And my sister, don't pray against that woman. The, the prayers you pray, you. Hey, this one, this one, if she prays a prayer, she can break your legs in prayer. You leg, break your legs. Relax. <laughs> Listen, we also want you to be part and parcel of this. What we're going to do is do what you came here for. But you will forget if we do it quickly, you forget God. If we do it quickly, we just call the men to come back like that. Ah. Yes. I'll tell the world. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Give me a pen and a paper. Pen and a paper. Mm -mm. Uh, 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 this is not a letter for you. Huh? All right. Just see. This is a letter. My sister, you should never worry about what they are saying. Oh, you, you were too quick. You did this fast. You should have waited. You should have analyzed this. The man is not wrong, but he's wrong in his being right. When somebody loves you too much, even if you're not doing anything, even if it's a call or an Instagram, just end as they say hi from your ex. It's a crime. Yeah, he looked for these things. He's searching DM, look everywhere, Instagram. <laughs> Help you, prophet. Uh, this is your ex boyfriend has put an emoji. It's a very difficult thing. If you are gone, why do you put an emoji? Fire emoji, fire. <laughs> Even if you try to explain that, no, there is no love, it's just a fire emoji. I don't know why this man is putting fire emoji. Maybe I'm just a fire. <laughs> he doesn't care. So I'm saying he's not wrong in his being wrong. And he's right in his being wrong. Huh? Yes, My sister, what do you want us to do to the girlfriend of your men? My men. Wow. My men coming back. Ask her if she knows the girl's name. Ah. She knows. She knows the name, Prophet. What is the name? Abigail. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? said no. No. So, what do you want us to do? Is the question. This is open check now. I want my husband coming to me. Me. <laughs> Leave it. You can have it. 
Todi na Abi. What can we what do, do we do with Abi? This one says everyone called the Abi should go. This is very dangerous. Even God can get angry like this. Like all the Abi girls should die. This lady is even better. You people are like, kill the Abigails. You people, you need to forgive. Don't worry. I'm going to see you this, tomorrow when this uh, international visitors come, you come, I'll give you something. A portion. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Someone is like, what, what portion is this one? In the Bible, there is a double portion. You know this. So why are you struggling with the portion? Ah, I speak by the authority of the Spirit in this moment, in this time, that God himself will do wonderful things and wondrous things, that everything that was missing in your lives, you too, restoration is coming to everyone here. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So see Pastor Felix. Don't go. See Pastor Felix with your child. And see Pastor Felix. And then tomorrow, we'll see you with international visitors. All right? Trust me. Don't worry. This is so easy. You trouble yourself. There are people with cancer who got healed. People with HIV got healed. People who were blind got healed. There's a lady here. out arthritis leave let your eyes be opened I Jesus. thank you Jesus Heal. thank you Jesus thank you Jesus prophet Instant miracles are happening in the building, prophet. This lady is shouting, I can see clearly. After 40 years, blindness, 40 years, prophet. She can see clearly. She can see clearly, prophet. She Eyes open. We have tangible oh, results in the building. Tangible results. She's crying, tears of joy, 40 years of blindness, what eyes open after the prayer of prophet human angel. You can, you can see, you can see. She's also talking. name of Jesus. Let every obstacle be removed. Down spirit, foul spirit, in the name of Jesus, I give you notice. Out! Pakadushke. Yes, what's happening? Prophet, uh -huh. it's amazing, Prophet. This was an instant double miracle, Prophet. Uh -uh. This lady for 40 years could not see, Prophet. You just prayed for her. Eyes open. She can see clearly. 
not only that prophet, because of arthritis, it was difficult for her to stand like this prophet. For you to see her standing like this, it's a miracle prophet. Look at this, she's joking prophet, she's joking. She's joking prophet. For the first time. What only you can do, what only you can do. Testimony is in the building, prophet. Yes, quickly, yes. My sister here for the past three years, she was experiencing serious back pains for three years, prophet. Not only that, she also had pause, prophet. And because of that, it was even difficult for her to do house chores, prophet. It was difficult. But the last Sunday, you prayed for a lady. We had a problem with rush. The moment you prayed for that lady, she felt power touching her whilst she was in the congregation, prophet. When she get home, prophet, all the pain just disappeared. After three years of serious pain, prophet, look at this, prophet. For the first time, she's bending like this, prophet. After three years. After three years. What only you can miracles, do. Miracles are happening, what prophet. What only you can do. Say yes. What's happening? Prophet, the power of God is moving, Prophet. You can see she, she can't stand. Prophet, not only that, she had piles, Prophet. And wow. for you, which means she needed a medical procedure, an operation to be done to deal with the piles, Prophet. But after coming from that very service last Sunday, she also checked herself the piles. We are talking of physical flesh. Disappeared, prophet. Disappeared. Disappeared. No operation. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Let me give you one free advice. Never fight a man who is still being used by God. If God has seen a vessel as fit, leave it alone. All power is given by God. Whether it's presidential, whether you are prime minister, a king, anything, everything is bestowed by God upon you. And no human can fight it. No matter what you try, you can't. There's just power. Power beyond description. Yes. Yes. Prophet, great yes. testimonies are taking place in the house. Uh -huh. Last week, prophet, you preached a message on sweet smelling aura and you said men can carry a sweet smelling odor and from that service my brother here took a leap of faith and said i'm going with the sweet smelling odor from my prophet he went to a certain artist to buy a t-shirt and from buying a t-shirt it changed because he carried the saint that you spoke to them in the service and prophet he negotiated with that artist saying Okay, what if I sell your products and this artist has over 227,000 followers and right now my brother has got into that contract and that deal and is ready to supply t-shirts, jeans, everything, merchandise of that artist. He's now a businessman. Business is available everywhere. I'm speaking to somebody under the influence of my voice. God increase you and bless you more and more. Amen, my Marisa, father. brother, you come. It's good to see you. Remember, I prophesied to the lady, right? Come for it. And I said, bring your husband. All right? So after the service, you see me, okay? All right. Thank you. Remember, I prophesied and I mentioned a hotel that the father who is gone to be with God, who died way back, was working for including the address where we move and the road. And I said, bring your husband. Now oh, here they are. Prophecy is real. Yes, quickly, because of time. More miracles are happening, prophet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have an instant miracle, prophet. You just prayed for this brother, prophet. Yes. We had an addiction of beer, prophet. Where did you get the beer now? A prophet. <laughs> Secret sauce. 
You have your, Some, your, your conducts. Yeah, 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 we have our conducts, prophet. All right, yes. <laughs> you prayed for him, prophet. He's Just crying. The guy is even crying. Uh -huh. Some minutes ago, prophet, you took water, prayed for the water, and you instructed me to give him the water. And you said, this beer will never test again, prophet. We got the beer. We told him to test the beer. You're saying, you're saying it's not smelling. I don't want it. It's smelling. <laughs> It's not nice for me. There is power in the name it's of Jesus. Miracle. That's why. Remember the service we had? The one around the world and people around the world were joining. And we were changing water into wine. Changing water into drinks. And some were even checking their water and it had changed color. Amazing. Some were testing their water. They say it tastes like fanda. Water. True prophet. Test like this, like this. You are even afraid of diabetes from water. <laughs> you play around with God. This, you see, you don't even need to buy groceries. You just go to the shop and say, give me cabbages and another drink, I will sort myself out. <laughs> you go to the tap, you put your cup like that, you say, Fanda. If you are tired halfway, you say, no, turn into Coca-Cola now. I need a test of Coca-Cola. You can be changing flavors by the power of the Almighty God. Yes. Thank you so much, my brother. And more is going to come to you. You are going Amen. to be the rightful leader of your family. You will see. Amen. Thank you, Papa. I'll tell the world. More miracles, prophet. I'm with my sister here, prophet. Yes. Your grace is doing amazing things, prophet, even when it comes to business, prophet. I'm with my sister here. There is a product which she is importing from another country. I don't want to mention the country because people will know her source. So she's taking from this other country, but she was doing it through an agent. So she would call an agent to say, I want this thing. If the thing is $100, the agent would say it's $200. So she was paying $200. So prophet, she decided, I need to go to this country myself and locate this place. Ask the agent, where are you really getting these things? The agent refused. They are not going to tell you. That's my secret. That's my business. By faith and by hearing your message, prophet, she flew, went to that country, when she was there, she was just stranded to say, how am I going to locate this? Then she remembered, I've got a mantle in my handbag. I have got anointing oil in my handbag. After two days of being stranded, prophet, she just felt a push coming from the mantle, directing her to one shop where there was a Chinese lad. Not only that, prophet, when she entered the shop, the Chinese lady just said, I know what you are looking for. Let me take you to the location. She was taken to the right place by that Chinese lady pro prophet. Directed to the source prophet, which was hidden for more than three years. She was directed. Hey! I'll tell the world of what you have done. Testimonies are still happening in the house, prophet. And the power is even touching the youth of this house. Prophet, we have this young man here. Today you preached a message saying the executive courts of heaven, even the executive courts of this country, they are responding. Prophet, there's a message here saying you have been selected to have a youth breakfast with the president. With the president. His Excellency, Comrade Idim Nangagwa. He's having a breakfast with His Excellency. It's all right, sorry, right. don't put it up there. And Prophet, the selection, there's only 10 of them that are attending this breakfast with the President of Zimbabwe. Sweet smelling aura. It's happening everywhere! 
live and direct viewers all over the world. These miracles are not limited to this place. It's happening everywhere. Ash. I am more, more than a conqueror through I Christ. Testimony. I hear people saying, so, um, how do I get on Zoom? And people see a number that gets on the Zoom because they are financial partners of this ministry. So they have access to our Zoom. So just you watching from around the world, you, go like, uh, you can't just access it. It has to be a partner, registered partner, and well up to date, we allow you to be online. You can go on TV. There are so many channels. Miracle TV is on. All the other channels we own are online, Facebook, YouTube, free. But as for that, it's only for financial partners. So don't ask me again, how do I get in? There are benefits that partners have to also enjoy. See, and if you're a partner, we're going to create your partnership cards that you can come and we know you're sitting positions. But listen, it is only fair that the people that bought the chairs have preferred sitting. Whether it's one dollar you're partnering with, you are somebody special, and we have to honor you in some way. Ah, oh, we should all be treated equally in the house of God. Thank you. Treat also our partnership equally. Yes. Prophet. Yes. This anointing and your mantle is just amazing, Prophet. Mm -hmm. This young man here, Prophet, he was a contestant when they were selecting the Global Youth Leadership Council Prophet. And there were more than 50 countries competing to choose a leader prophet. Yes. And this young man believed in your message, prophet, and your declaration that we are not number two prophet. Amongst 50 countries and 50 contestants prophet, this son of prophet, Hubert Angel, is the only one who was selected prophet. <laughs> only one to be selected prophet. I am more, more right than now, a conqueror. Right now, he is now representing 34 countries and 6 million athletes from Africa. This young man, prophet. I am more, more than a conqueror through Christ. My Lord. Who's the, who's the, who's the, who's the? I am more, more than a conqueror through Christ. My Say I am more. I am more. is more than a conqueror. We are not the ones that are fighting the devil. No. If the devil is talking to you, it's because you had to lift up your feet to see him. Because the Bible says he's under our feet. More than a conqueror, I'm now lying at the beach reading a magazine with my medals that say I won the battle. Now so many of you are still fighting. Fighting. What are you doing? I'm fighting the devil now. <laughs> he was defeated. He was defeated. Yes. Good Prophet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Prophet, we have got amazing testimonies happening, Prophet. Your grace is moving. Business is happening. Miracles are happening, Prophet. My brother here and wife, Prophet, you gave him this mantle, Prophet. Mm -hmm. More than four weeks ago, Prophet, Prophet, business partners came, prophet, who are not Christians, but this time around, these guys were Muslims, prophet. They just came to him and say, we just like you, and we want to do business with you. 
prophet so they say we are giving you a truck to go out and sell a product around the country logically prophet for you to sell that truck it should take you about 30 days which is a month but prophet after last sunday this man was given one truck on monday he went out and he finished to sell it ten thousand dollars went back on wednesday finished another truck not only that prophet friday saturday finished the third truck prophet thirty thousand dollars worth of sales Ewe. say i am more than a through christ Ma, say I am more, more Jesus. May the Lord bless you, increase you. Amen. May the message of the Lord follow you all the days of your life. Yes. You are going to see greatness like you have never seen before. I prophesy to everyone standing there, go home increased, protected, heavily guarded, heavily protected, heavily guarded in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. More testimonies, prophet. Yes. I've have got ever, my brother here. Have you ever gotten tired of testimonies? You're like, I need to go now. Let's never get tired. Because God will be trying to do more, more, and more things. Just be able to resist the edge to go. Just say, I want to I wanna know more. I want to see what God is doing. Mm -hmm. Prophet, yes. you can see by the smile, Prophet, that ah. something is really happening. Your God is doing wonders, Prophet. My young brother here, Prophet, last Sunday, as you were ministering, you just gave him this mantle, Prophet, wow. that he is using as a pocket that. swing. That's brilliant. You look wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, man of God. <laughs> yes. Prophet, he carried the mantle, Prophet, even to work. As he was there, people were just falling by looking huh? at him, prophet. Some tried to people touch at this work. one. At work. Jesus Christ. Some tried to touch this one, prophet. <laughs> and they were all falling. Uh, right there, young ministers around the world. These are people taking this and going to their workplace. And people are falling who don't even come to this church. Imagine if you're a young minister out there and you want the power of God to work for you. Amen. We are going to start ministers' classrooms that will be done every Friday here at the Hippodrome, but we'll tell you the deaths. So Amen. you carry power to your house. In fact, let me repeat myself. You carry power. Prophet. Yes. Not only that prophet. So he was just uh, moving around with the mantle prophet. Then yesterday prophet, she boarded a bus prophet. He boarded a bus? Oh. Yes, yes, him. Yes. Then he sat on front prophet. While he was there, he said, I started to smell a strange smell. Spiritual auras and odors. You, you need to watch that message again. Mm -hmm. A strange odor. Then he told the driver that I just want to change seats. I want to sit somewhere else. Prophet, the moment he moved, prophet, smoke started to come out from the place which he set at first, prophet. Not only that, the whole front of the bus was engulfed in flames, prophet. This was an escape plan, prophet. I, I literally mentioned it last week, that you can feel something, and you go like, let me move. Then something, fire comes. Because you are looking at prophesying using hearing of the ears, of hearing of the spirit, whereas God uses all your senses to prophesy. So you can feel a certain smell that you think everyone is, is, is sensing. And you look at them, they are not sensing it. It's only you. You move fire. And God said, I saved you through smell. Through smell, prophet. But you are waiting for God to speak one time. Let me tell you something. You are not God's boss. God is your boss. He decides how to speak to you. 
And I'm sorry, he doesn't speak in English. You think all these prophecies he's giving me is giving me in English? No. Even the names are not being given to me in English. They are impressions of the Spirit. You find yourself just liking Abigail. You, you, the name that Abigail. You, you find liking this name. You, you can't, even if you want to try and move, God says, go back. That one, that, that thing I gave you in your spirit, say it. And the moment he says, say it, and I say, uh, the Lord is ministering to me. That word, it disappears. God disappears. Now you are left alone. Now you are wondering, if I say Abigail, and it's not true, what would happen? They will stone me. So you have to jump that one with, by faith. That gap is done by faith. You call it by faith. It happens. Now you have free lesson, prophetic free lesson. You need to pay me. Let's go. It's amazing, prophet. This was surely an escape plan from the Lord. Thank you, prophet, for saving my life. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just a vessel. Jesus is the savior. Thank you, prophet. More testimonies are still taking place in the house. Mm -hmm. Prophet, as you're moving around, praying for people, my brother here left the wife at home. And she is sick, like no man's business. But prophet, the anointing jumped from this auditorium, from this church, went all the way home. And my brother here is asking Cupcake on the phone. Cupcake, how are you now feeling? Ah, the wife is called Cupcake. She's called Cupcake. And Cupcake is responding. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. More romance, more romance. <laughs> I am more, more than a conqueror through Christ. My Lord. And what, what did Cupcake say? And Prophet, Cupcake is saying, I'm sweating heavily, and right now I'm okay. I've recovered. And Prophet, I'm... you just prayed for a picture where Cupcake is with the husband. <laughs> she is now well. This one is a very good son. Thank you, sir. My sir. Thank you. <laughs> Come I here. am more, more than you. If you were, people say, where's your wife? You go. Mm. <laughs> if they continue saying, we don't know what the wife is like. Now, this one is Cupcake. Ash! What is the nickname of your wife? Hmm. Some have written Demoni. So I look in the phone, demon. Who is demon? I will not tell you. Demon. Remember the other lady had written rubbish. Remember the lady we, we prophesied to? Yes. The boyfriend, she had saved the boyfriend as rubbish in the phone. Now this one is cupcake. Learn. You should learn from the brother. Learn. What did I say? Learn. We can all be on our feet. Be on our feet. Want to get into this moment of our time. Uh, Pastor Felix, meet those ladies, please. And tomorrow they need to be there. Every one of you, raise your hands. Father, by the power of the Spirit, in the name of you who died, rose to heaven on the dead day, Yeshua HaMashiach, I decree and I declare by the power of the Almighty God, that their offering, their tithing is sanctified. That wherever they took it from, refill in the name of Jesus. Refill in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I want you to understand, even viewers around the world, before you take anything, before you take your offering out, I want you to understand. That our church believes in God speaking to you on what you give. Not a man of God telling you, give 20,000, give 40,000. No. A man of God in our ministry. It doesn't mean say those who do it are wrong. But they have to have an instruction from God. I want you to understand something. If God has purposed for this one to bring a dollar to him, and he chooses not to, and another person does it, that person, according to God, 
has replaced him. That means all the blessings that needed to be with him are now with him. Because God is no longer seeing him, he's now seeing him in him. So never allow yourself to be replaced. Do what God has called you to do and do it in time. If I say to you, bring me some water, fetch me some water, and you bring after two weeks, it's not obedience, it's impudence. It is worse than disobedience. So obedience respects the moment of the command. When we say, let's give, and you feel in your spirit, I need to give this, stick to it. Just do it. Raise your hands. Father, whatever you are telling them in their spirits to give, let them give. In Jesus' mighty name, that offering that is in their hearts, make it the offering that they give. Speak to them about what to give. Don't let their feelings choose what to give or their poverty choose what to give. In Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed. Come and give. Tithers around the world, it's your time to participate. And this moment is very, very precious and very important for you to follow. Every one of you around the world, you appreciate it. There is a movement and the Lord is doing wonders. He is doing wonders right this minute. area here.
tithers come? Give a clap of praise for these that are here. And as and when we finish this, prophetess will come here and there are some groups that I need to see. So those groups, you, they have to remain. New Year's Eve is going to be fantastic. And I think you guys now know that on the, on the 30th, we have our awards ceremony. So we no longer do it on the 31st. We do on the 30th. So, so that at least we leave the 31st for a demonstration of power without thinking okay we need to show this we need to do this and do that so it's going to be on the 30th where we're going to have all this but I tell you next year is going to be better by far Father in the mighty name of Jesus for those viewers around the world who are participating right this minute on TV, on Zoom, on our social platforms, and even in these that are here right now that commit themselves every month and every day to respond to the call for tithing. I speak a special grace specifically for them. Father, speak for them urgently. Speak for them specifically. Speak for them specially. Speak for them Instantly speak for them. In Jesus' mighty name, let their money answer with more. Production, favor, shall be their cosign. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You can just drop it here. Thank you so very much for being part and parcel of what God is doing in this season. And viewers around the world. You are in a location of power. And there is a lot that is taking place. This coming year, we are doing a tour of Europe. A tour of Europe. So salada shah. How are you feeling, Spirit Embassy? Minana. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah. Jisi boy pandi bito. Yeah. Are you ready for this one? I have been looking for somebody. 
the hood and have me without measure. Come out of the Musheva, go send a cassette. Now he's a Ziva, put him out in the Bovega. But no one is a good paper, Faro Singapera. Looking for somebody who they love me without measure. Come out of the Musheva, go send a cassette. Now he's a Ziva, put him out in the Bovega. But no need that, cause he is my young. Hey, so many people that be praying for my downfall, but I be champion, but I be champion. But when I go there, but I go there, my bus stops. Who can enter? Who can just see? Chop, 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 chop. So many people that be praying for my downfall, but I be champion, but I be champion. But when I go there, but I go there, my bus stops. Who can enter? Who can just see? Chop, 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 chop. Say. You can't do anything around the world. We pray for grace over your life, lives to begin to change. Be shouldered under the shoulder of the Most High God, under His shadow, be protected. In the name of Jesus, as you go, you are protected. In Jesus' mighty name, His mercy and favor and grace and love shall speak for you. This very week shall speak for you. In the name of Jesus. You are protected. We love you. Bye. See you again this Wednesday, this Thursday, and then Sunday, which is going to be our final Sunday service of the year. Then we get into our fasting. But of course, I believe it is on the 24th. We have our Christmas Eve here. I had I should not promise you that we are going to be eating, but I promise you we will be eating. So it's going to be a Christmas party. So, kanakwenyu kusina party, kuno de kwenyu futukune party. Tishaura ya mombe, makeke, nema cupcake.